through. So without any problem, it's very, very good. And nobody else even does the testing the right way or in a certified lab, but they do a, a, a different kind of test because they're afraid of what's going to happen. But we're not because we know we have vital force technology. And we have this highly guarded trade, trade secret and technology that uh, nobody else has, as I explained to you earlier. Now, what is vital force technology? Well, vital force technology, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let Dr. Igor tell you. So, Dr. Igor, why don't you um, tell everybody, say hi, let me make sure everybody can hear you, and then uh, we can move the slides ahead. Okay, so we know about uh, electromagnetic pollution, we all are aware of, but as Don just told you, so everyone knows about it, but if you will try to find some research on this subject, uh, you won't find a lot. And for example, if you take a uh, microwave oven, everyone, 90% of households in the United States have it. Uh, if you go to FDA to check about the microwave oven, you will find the line that it's not enough research done on the subject. And then if you ask yourself when the microwave oven was introduced uh, for us invented, it was 1946, so 70 years, and still no research, come on, it's not going like that. It means that uh, for some reason, some manufacturers not interested in the research. And uh, we are surrounded by electromagnetic pollution now everywhere, and we cannot fight it like just protecting ourselves with some kind of screens. Uh, we can not live in a bunker. So we have to invent something which counteracts this very harmful, harmful uh, radiation. How we can do it? Um, we can do it working with our brain. And uh, John, uh, Don just mentioned uh, SAR test, but uh, you know that electromagnetic radiation affects our brain. And not long time ago, electroencephalography, and you see how it's uh, fixed on your head, was invented, which allows you to check how your brain waves uh, uh, function and what and how affect them. And so using this approach, a pilot research was done with cell phones uh, equipped with uh, diffuse, it was a previous model of that, and then without it. And the frontal lobes, which you see, red lines, F7 and FP1 and F8 and FP2, were uh, affected the most. If you look the next slide, can you do it for me, please? Yes. yes. Don. So you will see the comparison. In the middle of that uh, small pictures, you see the baseline for men and women which were uh, participating in this research, and it is green. Green is good. As soon as you have a hyperactivity in your brain, uh, on diagrams like that, they're going to be red. And that's what you see on the very left upper corner. Uh, it's a person, it's uh, actually it's an average picture of a number of participants, and then you have that integrated pattern. And you see like frontal parts of your brain are hyperactivated, like three times above the normal. And what it means that it could influence you the way that you would have a lack of flexibility of logical attention and verbal expression. But if you place a small device on your cell phone on the back cover and then you measure uh, the brain again, you will see the picture to the right. You see the F7 point marked with red arrow is getting completely green, which is good, so hyperactivation was gone. If you look at the pictures to the right, the same uh, was happening with the points F7 and frontal, uh, frontal lobes, those uh, from the right. Uh, to the left, without diffuse, uh, to the right with the diffuse, red again converted to green. And what it means that uh, hyper elevation in this zone could uh, means that elevated neuro neuronal activity 
and uh, that the individual may have less efficient emotional attention and verbal expression. Uh, that's a clear demonstration how this diffuse works, but it didn't say you anything so far about uh, the technology Yuri Kron was working for 20 last years. Um, and he just told me, leaving the lab today, that 20 years ago, 20 years ago, not now, uh, he visited a clinic, uh, environmental health center in Dallas, um, running by William Ray, doctor. Uh, and this clinic is dealing with EMF uh, symptoms as a disease. And in this clinic, they found out that for some people, effect of AMF radiation is so severe that uh, people start looking for doctors, medical doctors, uh, to help them. And this is the only clinic which actually deals with the patients like that. And the major effect which uh, AMF radiation causes for people who are sensitive to it or who just became sensitive, it's that your body starts retaining minerals in your body, and then you're supposed to literally use IV to resupply your body with uh, minerals. And also, it's affect block, uh, blood barrier, uh, it uh, influences fertility, so many bad things are happening to people. And as you see on this slide, it affects your brains, and then, uh, Dr. Yuri Kron decided to focus on a device which ca can counter counteract this influence. By the way, on this slide, thank you, Don, uh, you can see links to, very, to two very important uh, sites. Uh, the last one, it's Environmental Health Center, uh, Center I just told you about, and the first one, it's a site uh, of Jill Moscow. It's, uh, PhD who works at the University of California, Berkeley, and uh, as you can guess, he's a specialist, specialist in his field, and he collects data about harmful effect uh, EMF radiation can cause uh, for your body. Uh, so I would recommend everyone of you to check both of these sites and to see for yourselves what other symptoms beside the ones I just told you you can uh, see. So uh, vital force technology and in particular diffuse is dealing with your subtle body. And actually, it was a subject we got interested back there in the Soviet Union in the 80s uh, when we started working with Dr. Yuri Kron, uh, the subject. By the way, to tell you the truth, at that time, it was a forbidden area in the Soviet Union. You, you were supposed to do it uh, underground. And gradually, uh, it came to a device which now you, or you have it already, you, you might have it through STEM tech. Uh, this device is dealing with your subtle body, with your brain, helping your brain to get stronger to counteract this harmful influence. It's like a, a helping hand from your subtle area, giving you a compass, how not to get lost in this growing environmental um, noise and pollution. Uh, I guess that's what I wanted to tell you, uh, commanding these three sites, uh, slides, and now back to Don. If we have any questions, I'm ready to answer them. Okay, well, Dr. 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 Igor, first, thank you very much. Uh, we'll make sure that this slide that you see here, all those things are posted, and I'll explain that to you uh, in a little bit, so you'll be able to go to, go to visit those. Um, Dr. Igor has provided us with a lot of with a lot of different uh, great information that you can have, and it's all on the Diffuse website, so that's going to work well for you. And you know, when's the last time you had the opportunity to have somebody explain this leading edge science to you? 
you who has a BS in molecular physics, an MS in nuclear physics, a PhD in chemical physics, and all from the Moscow Institute, which is the equivalent of the uh, Russian MIT. And he went on to become uh, a, a, an assistant dean there, and then he and Dr. Crone worked together uh, on humanitarian rights, and as a result of that, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Igor was granted asylum over here in the U.S., and he's been working in the U.S. and Europe, and then now he's working again, but he never left Dr. Crone for 30 years, but on a full-time basis. And Igor, we are so happy to call you our friend and a member of the STEM Tech family, so thank you very, Me very too. much. When you use the phone, you don't get any more drop calls. No more. In fact, they're equal or a little bit better, so you won't be having to shout into the phone. Everybody thinks if they shout, they'll make the connection, right? <laughs> and it really doesn't work. And so, you know, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Well, you don't have to worry about it. And that's another unique feature that we have that nobody else has, thanks to Vital Force technology. 1970, the first cell phones were uh, were invented, and then and you had to have a wheelbarrow to carry them around. In 1990. It took all that time for our government to set up standardized regulations, and now those regulations are used all around the world. In 2011, and it's happened in a lot of different places, but I just pulled this one out, there was an interphone study that showed an increased risk of brain damage in those who used a mobile phone for at least 30 minutes. How many people use their mobile phone for only 30 minutes a day? I don't know of anybody, and so that's great. And But the, the whole thing that we got to really focus on 45 percent of 10 year olds on average globally have their own cell phones wow and people think it's cute and and they don't realize the damage to those poor little kids so we have to make a difference and this is another uh, slide that was provided by Denny and you know the, the question here is yeah there's there's radiating uh, radiating corruption and frightening science and in the politics of cell phone safety and the big question is cell phones are known to cause a myriad of health problems so why hasn't anyone done anything about it. And we have to lead the bandwagon to do that, and we are doing it. And again, uh, Dr. Igor, thank you so much, and thank Dr. Crone for all the work that you've done, all the years and decades that you've spent. To